So for all the unspoken rules on the internet, one of the biggest ones is that you're no longer allowed to make jokes. And that's exactly what we found out yesterday when the company Tampax tweeted out, you're in their DMs, we're in them, we are not the same. And you know what? That was a funny joke. It got 350,000 likes for a reason. And you know what? I thought it was really funny, but a lot of people didn't. And of course, the Twitter crowd that gets offended over anything was back at it again. Imagine my surprise. Because you know, you just can't make jokes anymore, if we're going to be completely honest. This was a harmless joke. There was no real reason for people to actually get upset with this, but as you may know, people like to get upset for no reason. When I read this tweet, I decided to just look at it, have a little chuckle about it, maybe give it a like, and continue going on my day. And you know why? Because I like to enjoy my life. Only 18% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel. Don't be part of the 81%. Subscribe to the channel. You have nothing to lose. But these people are miserable and that's why, that's why they're on Twitter. This person tweeted out, you do know that it's not just hot 22 year old women who get their periods, right? Replace their and them with a 13 year old girl and see how it reads. Like, I don't know about that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> who brought up 13 year old girls i mean don't get me wrong i guess i understand the sentiment like yeah it was kind of like a sexualized joke about use tampax and you know what as well as the majority of tampax buyers are women there's also some girls that you know are quote unquote a 13 year old girl and i i guess i can see why this person said this but i mean no one brought up 13 year old girls and honestly that was not the first thing i thought of when you know i read this tweet but obviously this person had to bring it up and they say well see how it reads now well of course it, we it reads weird now because you're the one that brought up 13 year old girls like obviously the majority of people that read that tweet were not thinking it like that and you just had to come in and make it weird it wasn't them that made it weird it was you that made it weird this took me several moments to understand as the vile misogyny was unexpected from a company that sells exclusively to women and girls. You really hate us. Now, you know what? I, I would have expected that retweet, that kind of reply on some crazy tweet. You know what I mean? Like, if you would have read the most misogynistic thing on Twitter, that would be a very, you know, understandable reply. But that reply towards a tampox joke you know, a little meme on their Twitter. Oh, it's, oh my God, it's the most over-exaggeration I've ever seen. And maybe the entirety of, you know, Twitter's history, it's very possible. Well, at least it will be the biggest over-exaggeration until the next controversy that happens on Twitter that's uh, scheduled, um, oh yeah, next week. This person said, you know what though, they make a somewhat good point because this, I found this a funny joke, but you know what, I'm a guy. And I think the majority of people that found this a super funny joke were probably men or, you know guys you know i'd say probably like 60 maybe 70 percent of the total engagement on this post you know all the likes and crap were probably from guys and so yeah you know what kind of pissing off like half your consumer base is probably not the smartest thing but then again i feel like they probably don't care that much because you know what the whole point of social media and to have a social media manager is to get the most amount of like free advertising pretty much like social media is you know what you get this tweet had 350,000 and like sure that's a lot of people but it probably has like a million if not a couple million impressions so a bunch of people saw this and you know it was free advertising for the brand so obviously they're not too upset without it because you know what if you put that on like a tv ad it probably cost them like hundreds of thousands of dollars so you know put up a silly little meme tweet and get your most viral tweet ever i'm sure they're not that upset about it but yeah this person does kind of make a good point it's like you know what making a joke that a lot of your consumer base you know women seem to see seem like they're saying it's at their expense even though i don't see that at all um i guess it's probably not the best idea to tick off people that you know are buying buying your products like i saw your tweet i liked your tweet but i'm never gonna buy tampax for myself or you know i guess maybe i could buy it for someone else but yeah you probably shouldn't piss off people that are your only consumer base person tweeted out real weird for a company that sells products made for women's naturally bodily functions to make a tweet sexualizing women for using their products lmao fire your social media manager this is gross 
and this had 6,000 likes. It's like, what is wrong with people? Seriously, these people are coming after this social media manager's job just because he tweeted out a joke? Are you serious? This is the most pathetic thing I've seen on Twitter in a very long time. Like, don't get me wrong, you know what, be upset with your joke or whatever, but asking them to fire your social media manager when the whole point of hiring a social media manager is to get, you know, impressions and likes and, you know, free advertising pretty much. And so this guy did, I'm assuming it's a guy, this guy did exactly what he's being paid to do you know get free advertising and now they're calling him to be fired and you know what imagine it actually is a woman because that would be honestly so funny you know imagine the kind of impressions that would come out if the tampax social media manager was an actual woman and you know all these people are saying it's a misogynistic thing because it's a man tweeting it out but you know what it's just a woman who has a good sense of humor oh my gosh the people in these comments would be furious they would not be able they would not be able to have a grip on reality for weeks i'm certain of it person said yikes this is beyond inappropriate from a corporation you know what i completely disagree i like seeing corporations get with the time and hire you know young social media managers that probably grew up on social media and actually know what's funny and know what's a good joke i mean there's a reason that had 350,000 likes and it's not because people disliked it it's because it's a funny joke and the person obviously gets the humor you know that's an energy that's an internet joke that only people specifically on the internet would get. And so, you know what? I'm completely okay with a corporation doing this. I mean, honestly, I wish more corporations would do this because I'm, I'm kind of sick of, you know, the corporate advertising. Anytime I see like a super corporate advertisement, I just pretty much ignore it because it's fucking boring and it's not entertaining in the slightest. It, it'll, you know what? Maybe it applies to the boomer crowd like this person obviously is. But for me, you know, with the social media age, I'm just, I'm not interested trusted in uh social media manager if they aren't making good jokes like i think my favorite social media manager is the kfc one for uh mexico i believe or the spanish kfc manager because he just tweets out random memes with the kfc you know colonel sandals guy and like a chad outfit and you know what it's fucking funny i don't understand it i can't you know i, I can't read spanish i can't speak spanish and i still find good humor in it and you know what that's what social media managers should be doing it should be making their customers and you know potential cust customers and clients or whatever you know what they're entertained that's what social media is for entertainment like geez i wish these people would just i don't know try to be happy in their life because there's just so many people that are so upset with this crap and i don't know it feels like a dog pile for no reason this person tweeted out i have a 13 and 11 year old girls you'll never be quote unquote in them i'll make damn sure that every mom of every girl i know hears why you shouldn't be in them either met eldest and her mates were already grossed up by the creepy bloke you have as a brand ambassador misogynistic creeps and it's like this is such this is another reach i mean no one again no one brought up 13 and 11 year old girls you know what i mean like the only person inferring this from you is you and it's specifically because you have 11 and a 13 year old girl no one was actually looking at this and inferring that that's what you know what it meant it wasn't supposed to be like a creepy joke you are making it weird and creepy and it, it's not the other person it's you you know what you're not breaking up with tampax it's not tampax it's you honey and they said you know what I just and that tweet has 2,000 likes that just I cannot fathom why so many people have a problem with you know a brand ambassador on social media making a silly little joke and if we're gonna be completely honest that's all it is it's just a silly little meme and there's no reason to actually be, be upset with this but then again it is Twitter so they have a reason to be upset with everything but that's just my thoughts you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments yesterday we made a video about how people on Twitter I don't know shocker are upset with Mr. Beast and the reason is honestly ridiculous. This is an entire video breakdown of the situation. You should click here to watch it now.